Welcome back to another episode of Nocturne Rebirth with Pyrotechnic. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. All right. It's dark. Kitty cat. All right. Holy shit. All right. We can't mess around. Dark Storm. Doors. Oh, nothing? Okay. It's dark. Hold on. Config. It's not a brightness. Oh, God, the darkness. I need the money. Ugh. All right. Why don't I have my new weapons? Ugh. Damn it. I guess I should just... Fuck it. Let's fucking take care of this shit if we're gonna take care of it. I 
can't fuck around. No experience, I should have just killed them. What? Holy shit, they're really stepping it up. Alright. I see you. Something. Damn, this is bullshit. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Mr. Reviel! Uh. How worthless. <laughs> you figured out my trick. You are a disappointment. Say what you will. It's up to me to use whatever it means it whatever means it takes to kill you. Huh. Typical being. It's pointless no matter what means you come up with. Now that you look to run out of tricks, what are you going to do? Admit defeat and crawl back into your hole? Or try begging for your life? Sorry to say, but it's neither of those. I told you before that I'll kill you, vampire. I'll definitely not let you escape. <sighs> I see. It appears that I've underestimated you a little. I suppose I've got no choice. The blood of Nosferatu that lies in slumber deep within me. Oh. Awaken thy power here and now. Oh shit, she's a fucking. What? <laughs> Vampire Reviel. My name is Edith Middowin. Prepare to die. Now this is starting to become fun. Oh shit. This is gonna be sick. She's gonna actually have people fight. What the fuck? Shifia, it's certainly wise to plan ahead, but if you don't take into consideration what's in front of you as well, you'll falter in no time. My apologies, Master. Please give me a little more time to think. Sure. King, to G8. I see. You learn very fast, but you still have much to learn. Knight to F6. It's checkmate in 12 moves. Hmm. Well, this has been a nice distraction. I didn't expect that you would take the initiative to invite me to a game of chess. You've truly grown. Thank you very much, Master. I certainly hope this is... What is the matter? This pulse! So it has begun. It's a duel between Reviel and... Madame still, perhaps? But the pulse was rather faint. Yes, it was. 
The one that admitted the pulse was not for still, but a female vampire. She is a considerably rare anomaly, if I must say. A rare anomaly? Yes. A normal vampire would have already taken already been taken over by madness and lost his or her identity as a human. But not that female vampire. Now then, Reviel, how will you handle it from here on? You have, after all, quite a number of enemies in this forest. One wrong move, and it's not only you, but at least someone else as well who will pay the price. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, this is it. This is precisely the feeling that surpasses all else. The feeling that I get upon a brush with death is clearly worth savoring. <laughs> you monster. I really have to thank you, Vampire Slayer. You help me remember a feeling that I've long forgotten. Nevertheless, there's something I just can't fathom. Why are you so insistent on killing vampires? That goes without saying. It's the duty of people with the ability to hear you can drop the act. You may think that what you just said is legitimate, please. <sighs> Shut up! That's true only if you're a human. <sighs> Don't you think it's laughable for a vampire to actually say that? <sighs> In fact, isn't the source of the power that you're using right now the blood of a vampire? Shut up! You were saying it's the duty of the people with the ability to fight the vampires. By deceiving yourself and eliminating your own race, what exactly are you trying to achieve? Shut up! It's pointless to try to act as a human. You're no longer a human after all. You're now a being that has to live off fresh blood of humans. You're a vampire. SHUT UP! You... What do you know? You're nothing but a hysterical vampire overwhelmed by dark mana. A hysterical vampire overwhelmed by dark mana. Looks like you're still getting the wrong idea about me. I'll show you. I'll show you the difference between an original and a clone. Dark mana. Let's see how white does it. First things first. Welcome to the battle, Edith. What up? Alright. I guess I'll go ahead and heal uh Fallen. Get him going. Alright. So how about a dark attack? How can you do with that? Uh air slashes. Get all those out of the way. Really hit. Alright, I'm hurt. How's ice work? Yes. Light cross. Good thing. I can use a heal. Shit! Fuck. Oh my god. You just don't need more than that to take me out. What works on you? What is your weakness? He'll fall. Fire yet. Fire is a weakness. Dark and fire. Alright. Who needs it? No one? Alright, attack. Alright, you're just a heal person. Got it. Alright, fire. Nice. Her being blind is a real advantage. 
Holy shit! Safe for the Omegas. Ugh. Now what's that? What we got? What we got? Who needs help? I need help. Alright. I stay on top. Oh shit! Oh nice! Alright, who needs it? Follow needs it. This is a good fucking fight, dude. Get her! Alright, come on. Nice, 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 nice. Shit! Fuck! Fuck! Gotta hold on. Oh shit! I, I need it. I need it. Make her blind, come on. Yes, alright, alright. Oh, oh, yeah. all right, hold on. Oh, fuck. Thank oh, God. Uh, alright, I'll use the green buzz on me. Alright, uh, fire axe, yes. Uh, how many years have you lived? How many people's necks have you sunk your fangs into? Whatever the case, it all ends here for you today. Nothing in this eternal world, not even day or night. Is that all you wish to say? How foolish. For someone who has lived for a mere hundred, no, nearly thirty years, what makes you think you can speak like you know it all? Why, you. I do, however, acknowledge that powers of yours alone. It's been a while. No. It's in the fact that the first time I've ever fought such a strong fight. Oh shit! Fallen! Right. Oh, she's still blind. Alright, get that, get that hit on the moon. Air slashes. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Here it comes. Ah. I have to keep him alive. Shit. Oh my god. Oh. 
Oh my god! right, it is. Uh, to think you could even deal with this power of mine. You're truly a monster. Well, this is unexpected. I didn't think you'd be this formidable. A typical vampire wouldn't be a match for you. But too bad you're no match for the likes of me. Your life as a fraud ends here. Who exactly are you? Don't tell me you're one of the ancestors. Mr. Reviel! Thank God you're safe. Uh, what are you... Please wait! You're in the way. Get lost. Please, put down your swords. battlefield of warriors. It's a place where warriors put everything on the line and fight to the death with all their might. Weapons are the only things a warrior can rely on to survive. And it's a battle of honor that ought not to be interrupted. That being said, the battlefield isn't a place where weak humans like you can just step into. Get lost. Otherwise, I'll have to cut you down as well. No. 
I won't get lost. She escaped. Thank God. Oh, shit. Why did you protect her? I... I... I just don't wish for anyone to die. After all, if we could just talk things through with Edith, are you daft? Are you trying to disgrace warriors like me that with, with that pathetic reason of yours? Humans will die. Be it sooner or later, humans are bound to die. Death is an inescapable fate for humans. It's predestined from the time they were born. There's no way they can resist it. Yet why do humans continue to live? And why do humans grieve over the deaths of others? The world exists as always. And no matter how many humans die, it doesn't change the flow of time. How, how could you say that? After all, if you were to die... Me? Die? What a lame joke. Didn't she tell you? The fact is, I'm a being that lives with the darkness for eternity. I'm different from you weak humans. Death doesn't exist in my dictionary. Even so, that way of thinking is wrong. You're damn annoying. Uh, you keep worrying and barking about useless stuff. The voice of you, a powerless being, is seriously getting on my nerves. Mr. Reviel, I can't breathe. Intense hatred for anyone. Oh, thinking back, I couldn't tolerate the things you said at all. One thing in particular is about you wanting to turn those controlled by Maxwell and Dark Disciples back to people. What's even the point of that? Even if they can be turned back to people, they'd still die eventually. <coughs> I... Pointless. It's not worth killing the likes of you. You just had a narrow escape tonight. Hang on to that useless luck of yours for dear life for all I care. I... I... I just... And she just wants to help people. And I didn't like that, that fucking sucked. That was a shitty scene. And now I'm upset. So now we gotta turn on our positive mental attitude blockers and be like... Okay. Now we're back to Edith, who's pro like probably like half dead. Uh, damn it! That vampire—he's one hell of a monster. How pitiful! You, even with your best efforts, you're still thrashed by sheer overbearing power. And in the end, you were spared as you escaped in humiliation and survived. You must be feeling miserable and pathetic right now. Who are you? <laughs> Does it matter? I don't want to hear any trivial details. Just answer my quick. <sighs> You're rather brash and impatient. Don't you think that's annoying? You. Who the hell are you? What did you just do? Ristel. I'm Ristel. I'm a, of the same race as that man. So you're... You're a vampire too? 
Damn it. What was that? My attack didn't hit her at all. Can't you at least listen to what I have to say? After all, I have a proposal that will only benefit you. Don't you think it's somewhat heartless to attack me without listening to my proposal? Oh shit. What in the world is this? Illusionary magic? No. These are all physically real. The blood of Nasrat that lies in. I won't I won't allow that. What? Awaken thy power, awaken! It's no use. You can't use that power in my presence. Ridiculous. This ought to be impossible. Oh, it's possible. It's possible, all right. After all, I have a grasp of every single thing that you're thinking. What What did you say? Power. You desire power, right? You want absolute power that ensures you won't lose to anyone. Well, you're probably right about that. Right now, I just want power that's strong enough to slay you. But if it's really so easy to attain that power, then there wouldn't be any hardships and... Oh, you'll get that power easily. All you have to do is accept it. Once you do that, the tremendous power that can destroy everything will be yours. What nonsense are you talking about? Maxwell. A blue wolf? Do you think you can defeat the wolf in your current state? Yeah. Ridiculous. Don't make light of me! <laughs> Why is this wolf so strong? I hope you're able to understand a little with this demonstration. <sighs> I can give you power. You just have to accept it. It's your choice. So what are you going to do? Will you accept this absolute infinite power? I refuse. I don't need that power. I could kill you and that man by myself. What a fool. To think you still haven't realized the clear difference in strength between you and us. You really conceded if you believe that you can lay a hand on us with your power alone. <sighs> oh well. I suppose I'll quietly leave for now. I would appreciate if I could get a favorable reply from you with the next time we meet. <sighs> is up with all this. First that man, now that lady. Just how many monsters like them lurk in his forest in that village. Oh. 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 Alright, can I go to one of these now? Luna, why are you back so late? What have you been doing? Mom? Huh? Good grief. You ought to be more responsible. My goodness, there's dirt all over you. Eh? Where's Reviel? I... Luna, are you alright? What's wrong? Luna, are you crying? I just... <laughs> Just what I was expecting from a human. Never mind that. More importantly, there's something I have to confirm. All right. That's delicious. 34 minutes, well, 35 minutes. Some nocturne. I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. That was that was that was crazy. That was, that was buck wild. That was an action-packed episode. I'll see y'all in part 32. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, I'll see you when I make another one.